Hello. Where were I? Let Jula make the noise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. How are you both? Tired. Yeah, bit tired. It's been work and uh yeah, I, I had to get up oh, a bit bright. I had to get up because I got home and laid on the bed for a minute and I was just checking my emails and stuff and I, I nearly dozed off. And I woke up and I was like, right, get up because otherwise I'll you know what I'm like sometimes, I oversleep. Or fall asleep and then you'll be like where's all X? but yeah i'm back after three weeks anyway so yeah it's good to yeah. have you all missed me yeah yeah Did you have a good time that's the main yeah it was good yeah yeah i'm looking forward to doing some more stuff and uh obviously this time of year everything's shut now theme park wise yeah so I'm happiest when I'm at a theme park, and it's really annoying that, you know, well, it's not, because it's freezing, isn't it? I, I know why they do it. You can't be whizzing about in the freezing temperatures, but, yeah, um, yeah I just look forward to next year now. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to plan another big road trip. Um, obviously, last year I went up to um, Flamingo Land, didn't I? That's when I called in on you, Chris, and that, and yeah. um yeah. yeah, hopefully next year we're going to go to um, Blackpool. Oh, nice. Because I've never been to Pleasure Beach. So I've driven past it once when we were picking up a car years and years ago with one of my partners. And, um, yeah, we drove past it. But, it, of course, this was, like, December. So it was all shut up for the winter. Um, yeah. But that's as close as I've been to it. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Right, so I'll get some comments and then we'll go into what we're doing and what we're working on. So we've got Dave Mack. Good evening, everyone. It's Thursday once again. Let the quiz begin. Have a great show also, guys. Hi, Dave. Hi, Hi Dave. Dave. And we've got Robert says hi. Hi, Robert. Hi, Robert. And we've got Robert says hi again. And we've got D saying evening, Dave Mark. How's you, sir? Dave Mark saying evening, D. Not too bad. How are you? And D, all good, mate. Thanks. How's mum? Oh. And Dave Mark, mum is still plodding along as long as she still can. Um, we've got D, my thoughts are with your family, Dave. Absolutely. Dave Mark saying thanks to Dee. And Robert says hi. And Robert says hi. I think he's gone round um, all the YouTube channels. So thank you for that, Robert. Yeah. Hi, Robert. And Warren says hi, all. Hi, Warren. Hi, Warren. Hi, Warren. How are you? And we've got Dee. Uh, keep your eye open, Dave. Spam bots back in force recently. Nearly every show this week, I think. And jump into Northern Model Builders page and Alex's page. Thank you, Dee. Well, thank you. Thanks very much. And Mark says, good evening, everybody. Hi, love. Hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. And we've got Dee saying evening to Robert. And we've got Kenneth. Afternoon, everyone, from Atlanta, Georgia. Hope everyone is doing well and have a fantastic day. Hi, Kenneth. Hi, Hi Kenneth. Kenneth. And we've got D. Evening, young lad at Mark's Mods. How's you? D says, Evening, Kenneth. Mark says, Evening at D. Very tired today. Feel drained. Yeah. Another one. Another one. Yeah. I, I, maybe it's the weather. It's probably the weather, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, it's really depressing for me this time of year anyway, because I've, you know, I get up early for work and I'm almost going to work in the dark. And then I finish work and I'm coming home in the dark. It's just... Yeah. That's the thing, isn't it? Uh, Dave Mark says, good evening to Mark. Mark says, good evening, Dave Mark. And we've got Mare, evening also in chat as well. Hi, Mare. Hi, Mare. Hi, Mare. And Dee says, it's feet up time, mate. Relax an early night, methinks. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And Mark says, not with spam bots about D. 
and D says, I'll be on Northern Model Builders and Alex's mate. Uh, Mark says, I'm on everybody's. Yeah, yeah, well, chat's popped out. Well, yeah, he's got three screens, and he? So he's got it all glazed out. And... He does. <laughs> he does. I don't get a neck out, Mark. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Dave Mac says, I'll be here watching out for the spam bots. They're a nuisance. They are. Yeah. And he says, see, Mark, we got it covered. LOL. Yeah. Uh, Dave Mark, that what we that what we have, D. Yeah, got it all covered. And we've got Dave's model vintage. Hello, everyone. Hope you have a, a lovely show. Thank you, Dave. Hello. Hi, Dave. Thank you. And D says, evening to Dave. D says, evening to Warren. D says, so good evening, Alex, Julie, and Chris. Hiya, D. Hiya, yes, D. Good <laughs> and Dave, Mark, good to see you back, Alex. Thank you very much, Dave. Thank you. And D, fireworks show was excellent, Alex. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, I did comment, as I said, Obviously, uh -oh. we were there on the Friday and Saturday. Um, and I just wish I filmed it on the Friday. But in my head, I want to enjoy it on the Friday because it was our first time seeing it. And then I was going to film it. But, of course, the weather wasn't the greatest for us on Saturday. It was dry but really foggy. And once them fireworks, as you saw, once the fireworks were going off, the smoke was just blocking it all out. So... I wish I'd filmed it on the Friday and then enjoyed it on the Saturday, but it doesn't matter. But yeah, it was good. I'm glad you enjoyed it anyway. Okay. And we've got Jay saying, good evening all, hope everyone is okay and well. Hi, Jay. Hi, Jay. How are you? And um, we've got Dee saying, evening to Jay. So that is chat up until now. So, shall we go cameras down on what we're working on? And then I will hand over to you, Alex. Okay. Right. Oh. Right. Just a heads up, I'm going to put my light on. There we go. Right, so uh, Chris, I'll come to you first. Yeah, I'm still working on these gnomes. Um, again, I haven't touched it since the last show. Uh, uh, I've been knitting, so I want to try and get this out of the way. Um, I just said I don't think I'm going to start another one now before Christmas. I've got that much on the go, yeah. Right. Oh, let's I'll come to you. Yeah. Right, Alex, I'll come to you. Okay, so I am doing a little bit of colouring. Um, I've showed you this book before. Um, I'm not going to bore you again, but I do enjoy sort of playing around with colours and blending and stuff. And I'm not an expert, but um, I'm sure I've showed you this before. But just as a little refresher, some of the stuff I've done before with blending. That was when we had Corona. And I just, I find it really relaxing. I think that's probably my favourite, the flower. Where I was trying to experiment with the pinks and the purples. It came out really nice. Yeah, it does look that was good. In, that was two years ago. God. <gasps> wow. Um, yeah, and then I did like a couple of three three colour ones so I don't know if I can find them that was one of them wow like red so like fiery like phoenix and then I did like a an out there lion head with purple red and blue nice just yeah but there you go and there's another one there I love that one. That's brilliant. That was 2017. <gasps> oh, my God. It feels like yesterday I did that. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. 
There you go. Anyway, I'm just I'm I'm not really going to pay much attention to this anyway because uh, I'll be the host for the quiz tonight. So yeah. So I'll just quickly show what I'm working on and then we'll get on. So I'm going to be carrying on with the Santa's diamond painting tonight. So that's what I'll be doing. Oh, wow. So one of the last ones from uh, Victoria's Moon that I got sent uh, for review. So this is the last one that I've got from them. So, yeah. Get it done for Christmas. Oh, that's brilliant. And that's the thing, though, like with me, like I don't think I could do a Christmas one because you know how slow I am with them. Like I'd start it in what now? It probably wouldn't be done till the summer, <laughs> and it would feel wrong doing it in the new year because it's not Christmas. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. Right. So I'll just get this last comment and then I'll hand over. So we've got Dave Max says, Where's Gillian tonight? Yes, sorry. Um Gillian's not with us. Um they've gone off um shopping and just having a bit of time together and you know, we work and, and stuff like that. So yeah, they're just having a bit of a bit of time together because Jordy's not at work, so yeah, they're just having a bit yeah, of time. Nice. So, right, I'll hand over to you, Horlix. Okay, so <coughs> we are doing some more Horlix Fortunes. I know uh, some of you like that game. Um, every, well, not every week, every time we play, we do change the rules slightly because we did have a little bit of feedback um, on the last one um, saying perhaps it wasn't as fair on um, Chris, Gillian and Julie because they were having one answer at the beginning but obviously yes they could probably see the chat and so what we're going to do is I'm going to ask the question we will find a, we will find a way around this but I'm going to this is just a bit of fun again tonight um, so what I'm going to do is ask, answer the question ask, ask the question sorry I will then go to the chat, grab all your lovely answers, and then at the end of them, before time's up, I will then go over to uh, Yorkshire Crafter and Chris, where they can give their answers, and they can give as many answers as they want um, before they give up, and then we'll move on. I think yeah. that's the best way of doing it, because then they can maybe think of answers that you haven't said. And again, you can have as many guesses as you want until you get a correct answer anyway. So it's just fair to give, give them, um, you know, they can have as many guesses as they want. So we're going to try it that way tonight and see what happens. So that being said, I need to oh, adjust my screens. Now, at this point, I am very jealous of Mark's three screen setup because I've got two and thought it was cool. <laughs> and uh, I could actually be doing with three right now with all these screens I have to have open for this. So, yeah. Uh, da -da -da -da. Okay. So, first question of the night. Uh, besides a pillow, Name something you might rest your head on to go to sleep. So besides a pillow, name something you might rest your head on to go to sleep. And that is our first question. I've got, I've just seen Mark's comment. Uh, the reason I haven't got three, personally, is because I haven't got the room. Yeah. <laughs> I could barely get these two on because these are big, big monitors. Like, you know, one's a gaming 4K one and one's just a standard one. But they're yeah. like 
28 inch things so they're quite whatever they are so they're yeah i haven't got the room well you can mm. see like my setup like they cover the length of the desk <gasps> wow so unless i get a stand and have one up the top but i think i'd get neck out yeah I saw a really strange accident this morning on my way to work. Well, so, I'll draw you a little picture. Where I'm at in Eastbourne, we've got the hospital here, right? And there's a roundabout. Yeah. Four exits. I live down here. So, when I come to work, I... Um, come up round the roundabout and go down this road. Now there's another roundabout here, which I call the pointless roundabout because it doesn't actually go anywhere but one way. So, you know, you go around this way. And then home from work, you come round, there's only one exit. One on, one off. So this bit of road here is literally about as short as you're seeing. It's not you can't really pick up any speed there at all. Yeah. So I'm coming around here and there's a bit of a delay and I'm thinking, what's going on? And I must have missed it by about a minute. There was a BMW, exactly the same as mine. And on the road here, it's only a single, single road. There's a crash barrier here. The BMW was on the crash barrier and obviously it had gone up the barrier and the car was like tilted. So as you can imagine, you've got the crash barrier here. The BMW was hanging off of it like that. Oh. So there was oil everywhere and obviously it had gone through the engine and the gearbox because they're auto. Um, but I don't understand how he got there because he was facing this way on the wrong side of the road. Now you can't, bearing in mind it's morning traffic, it was pretty, you know, there was a lot of traffic about, so there was no way he could have been speeding. So no. how he'd managed to get from this roundabout across the road and up this barrier is, I, I just don't get it. <laughs> wow. Really? You know, it just bugs you. I mean, I must say, they were fine. The driver was absolutely fine. He was out of the car looking at the damage with his head in his hands going, oh, my God. But it's like, I just don't understand how he could have done it. Exactly. The only thing I can think of is that he obviously they're automatic. Maybe he got confused with the pedals and pushed go instead of stop. Because they do go, right? They don't hang about. No. Yeah, that was my morning. Traffic's been chaos in this area today. Oh, really? Is it all the f yeah. is it still there the flight? No, there was an accident during the night. Um, well, reports say from half past three to five o'clock, so not really sure what time it was, but it was on the main drag out of all. Single vehicles hit a tree. Oh, God. Um, and they've had the road out of all closed all morning. And then this afternoon, they've managed to open one lane. But it's just, it's backed up everywhere. The Umberblip Bridge and that's all, was all bunged up. There's just nowhere to go. God. That's a long time to be shut, I guess. Was there any, um, there was, was there a death say or that One's got serious injuries. One man is in hospital. Right. I suppose they had to wait. Because, yeah. yeah, I suppose when it's something like that, they have to do 
forensics and stuff, don't they? Yeah. Oh, God. But again, on a dual carriage rate, that's how in the morning you ask how, why. Exactly. Have they come off the road and gone into a tree? Mm. Yeah. Okay, so we've had a few guesses, and I'm going to go through them now. Uh, so we've got D. Harris that says arm, and that is a correct answer, D. Well done. That is worth 20 points. Uh, Dave McBeal says cushion. That is not a correct answer. Mark says, yeah, we'll have, we'll have two screens, we can have three, yeah. <laughs> um, D. Harris says, uh, oh, sorry, D has got a correct answer already. So, uh, D. S. Models Vintage says, your arm, yeah, that's gone. And D has got one right, so, but D did say mattress and partner. Any more? Any more? Dave might build says coat, coat bundled up into a pillow. That is not a correct answer. There's five answers for this one. So we've had one from D. So we've got four left. Okay, so Dave Matbield says, uh, head rest on a chair or seat. Oh, no, that was my answer. <laughs> <laughs> um, that isn't the correct answer. Okay, I'll give it another minute or two and then I'll uh, ask you both and then we'll move on.
absolutely love colouring in. It's so therapeutic when you've, especially after a stressful day. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I like that. I've just done a bit of blending. Can you see that it goes dark? It looks luminous. It does. It dark and then goes into the light. I just love playing with them. Yeah. So. Okay, so I'm going to go to your witchcraft affair. Oh, sorry. Hang on. We've got some more answers. Uh, there's one vintage. It says someone's shoulder. Yes, I'm going to give you that. Other person. So you've earned 22 points. Well done. Mm -hmm. Uh, oh, Dave Matt just got in there with that one after Dave. Uh, this one's vintage. Everyone should have um, a bosom for a pillow. Well, that's how the song goes. What did I say before the stream? Yeah. You did. And yeah. I'm surprised Dave came out with that first. I'm yeah, not... you thought. <laughs> what DS one than vintage, should I say? I was expecting yeah. that from someone else. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, Dave yeah. Matfield says throw blanket. That is correct. That is also worth 22 points. Yeah. So there's two answers left, and that is for you ladies to find it. So, Julie, what do you think? I was going to say a partner. But I think that's gone. That has gone now. Yeah. Any more that you can think of? No, no, just that one. Okay. And Chris, what do you think? I was going to say the car window or a bus window. Mm, no, that's not an answer. No, there's two more. Oh, can I can I have another? Yeah, of course. A pet. Um, no. No. Okay. Warm, but no. No. What? Uh, can you be more specific? Are you talking about... Oh, I can't say that because it would give it away. A dog? Right, no, no. Mm. <clears throat> uh, well, Mark says, I'm behaving tonight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, so the other um, well, the other answers were stuffed animal. So you were close with pet, but wasn't quite yeah. right. Um, and the other one is just the bed. Okay, that was actually the top answer. Right. Yeah, because some some people don't sleep with pillows or cushions; they'll just lay flat. Yeah, I, d I don't know how anyone can do that. No. I'm a bit like Goldilocks and three bears. I have to be, I don't know, I get new pillows because the ones I get are flat and then it winds me up. Then you get new pillows, but then they're too high. Yeah. So then you're sort of half and half and then until they flatten a bit and, oh, it's just an art to it, isn't there? There is. Yeah, there is. <laughs> <laughs> But you go to the hotel and it's absolutely perfect. Yeah. So. <laughs> okay, next question. Um, oh, D. Harris says, I'm one. I sleep on my arm. Yeah. Um, I do at work sometimes if I fall asleep on my lunch break. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I've never overslept over lunch break, but I know we used to work with a guy, and um, he did, and it was really funny. He fell asleep in the staff room, 
and he was snoring away. And for a laugh, we just left him. I mean, there wasn't a lot of work to do, so we just thought, oh, we'll let him sleep. Yeah. We'll just see how long he would sleep for. So lunch is like between half, half 12 and half one. Yeah. He was still he was still asleep at quarter to three. <gasps> Oops. And then we did wake him up. Oh, my God, why didn't anyone wake me up? It was just hard because it was funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't get in trouble because obviously the supervisor knew about it but yeah it was funny yeah okay so next question is name an older actor who is in a lot of movies name an older actor who is in a lot of movies and this is round two okay funny i was gonna say i don't want to jinx it but youtube is a very strange platform isn't it because i was thinking about it when we did the other quiz um you know a few well, months ago we ended up with um that warning didn't we because yeah, of that yeah. song played <laughs> now I've uploaded that fireworks show with some of their music playing. And I did that because I saw other people had done it. I've not had one problem. Oh. Which I didn't think I would because I say other people have done it and I checked all their, you know, the other streams no no problems at all and it's just a bit strange how they get you on you know certain things and not others yeah <clears throat> it is really strange
Okay, all right, we're gonna get these answers and we'll just move on, I think. So, uh, D. Harris says Bruce Willis. Uh, that isn't the correct answer. Dave Mike Bill says Robert Duval. Duval. Um, that is not an answer. D. Harris says Tom Cruise. That is a correct answer. Well done. D. Harris, that is 19 points. Uh, yeah, 19 points for you. So I won't read out any more of D's comments uh, just because you've got one correct. DS Models of Vintage says Michael Caine. That is not a correct answer. Uh, Diamond Painting with Nicole. Hi, it's Nicole. I was wondering if I can if I can go to come back on the show. Okay, that's uh, Nicole. Yeah, message, us, message one of us after the uh, show, Nicole. Okay. Dave McBeal says, evening, Nicole. And Dave McBeal says, Danny Glover. That is not a correct answer. So I'll give that a couple more minutes and then I'll uh, ask the ladies. So let's talk about Christmas. Who's got a Christmas tree up at the moment in the chat or anyone? <laughs> I've seen a lot of people starting to stick their Christmas decorations up already. I've seen quite a few people on social media saying that they've started to put theirs up. I found out film I like Christmas in a couple of weeks' time. We won't be having one. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. I can't be, but I mean, I, to be fair, I've been like that the last few years. It just doesn't it doesn't bother me. Oh God, here we go. It started. I'm sure someone's no, no. Been out of the control. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't even look as though we're going to get our turkey this year, does it? Oh. Not according to news reports, no. Oh, we have a shortage of eggs or something at the moment, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah. People have stopped piling eggs, but they don't last that long. I don't, I just, don't, I don't get it when people have hear this and then they'll go rushing out and buy all the eggs in the shop. It just causes more of a problem. Yeah, it does. <clears throat> really weird my see my painting like it just i don't know it's so vibrant it looks like it's actually lit up it <laughs> with the camera. Like it's popping off the page yeah, yeah i like that <laughs> okay so Uh, Dave Matt Beard says Mel, Mel Gibson. That is not a correct answer. Uh, this one is vintage, says Sean Connery. That is not a correct answer. Dave Matt Beard says uh, no Christmas tree up here yet. Laugh out loud. <laughs> D says mine's going up on Saturday. Mark Smod says Sean Connery. 
And Mark said sorted. Thank you, Mark. Um, okay, so Julie, what do you think? Any ideas? Vin Diesel. No, that is not quite the answer. No. Um, any more you can think of? Not right now. No? Okay, Chris, what do you think? Oh, I don't know. I don't do films and that. Um, John Wayne. Correct. You've got 13 points. Yay. Crafty <laughs> Chris, 13. There you go. Any more, Judy, before the next question? Uh, how about Robin Williams? No. Mm. No. Okay, so we had Dwayne Johnson, The Rock. Oh. Big one. If I said Wilson, that would be Tom Hanks. <gasps> yes. Uh, we had John Wayne. Uh, That's one that Chris just got. Clint Eastwood and Harrison Ford. Oh. Okay. Name a place where people have to use coins. Name a place where people have to use coins. Should be quite a good one. Yeah. Uh, Dave Matt Bills, sorry, said Roger Moore. Um, that wasn't one. And this one's a vintage, this said James.
<laughs> okay, so Dave Mike Bell says an arcade. Unbelievably, that is not a correct answer. D. Harris says car parking. That is a correct answer. That is worth 20 points. So well done, D. These now eliminated from this round. So DS models of vintage. There's push uh, a push penny machine. Yeah, okay, that that isn't a correct answer. Uh, DS models of vintage. There's car parking meter. Yeah, done that one. Sorry. Um, there says telephone box. That is correct. Unfortunately, though, Dave, it's only worth three points. Um, Dave Mark Builds says a bank. That is a correct answer. Uh, that is worth two points. <laughs> that was the bottom answer. So. There's three top answers left. So again, a couple minutes, and then we'll move on. Obviously, you can tell these are old questions, can't you? Because most most things these days use use wireless on your car, don't they? They do, yeah. Even like parking meters now, like oh, you have to download an app and put a code in or scan a QR code. Yeah, true. Although it is handy because it gives you the abil ability to being there. Yeah. Okay, so uh, Julie, any ideas? Uh, name a place where people have to use coins. Laundrette. Yay, that is 22 points. <gasps> oh. Okay, and Chris, any ideas? Public toilet. No. Really? No. Mm -hmm. There's actually an answer on here. I'm surprised uh, DS Models Vintage didn't get. Mm 
Okay, any more before I reveal answers? Mm -hmm. I cracked it there because everybody's got to spend a penny, haven't they? Yeah. <laughs> True, yeah. It's more like spend a pound these days, isn't it? Yeah. True. Okay, so last answers we had left. Top answer was a vending machine. <gasps> Serious? <laughs> oh, no. And the other answer that was missing was a bus. A bus? A okay. bus, yeah. So. All right. Okay, uh, next one is, other than wood, name a material that might be used when building a house. There's quite a lot there. Other than wood, name a material that might be used when building a house. Do you hear that? Yeah. Yeah, uh, it's really loud in there. The windows are shut. Gosh. Sounded like somebody got a big pairing cat. <laughs> <laughs> Send to Judy earlier. We got um, we're having super fast internet put in, um, like the top speed one, the the five, but lightning fiber, which I'm absolutely buzzing for because at the moment we're getting like seventy meg download. So with this, we're going to get nine hundred up, uh, nine hundred, which is a lot more than what we're getting. Um, and uploads at the moment we're on about nine which isn't great but it, it works but it's uh with the new one we're going to get like a hundred up so the, the engineer turned up today and uh unfortunately they, he couldn't do it today because because our house is set back a bit they've got to do something up the pole i think they're going to put a new cable in from the pole um, like a new, I'm guessing it's the fiber optics. I think it's fiber to the house, but they couldn't do it because our house is set back. The phone line connects to next door's house on the corner, 
before it then droops down to our house and they need written permission from next door that they can access their property and go up there and do whatever they got to do with it. So until we have written permission from them, we're a bit stuck. Yeah. So I'm not sure how long it's going to be now. Right, okay, so let me go through. Uh, D. Harris says metal. Uh, yeah, I'll give you that. That is worth eight points, D. Uh, Dave McBuild says bricks. Congratulations, that is the top answer. So Dave McBuilds, that is worth 33. What? But he's got it correct. Uh, this one's Vince's break. And uh, uh, this one says, DS models vintage says cement. I'll give you that. That's worth 17 points. Well done. 17 to Dave. Okay. And you've all got correct answers left in the chat so I won't read any more um, D. Harris has had the fibre put in for me uh, now no one uses the Virgin modem apart from when when the Wii Man plays his PS5 yeah well, there's things like that that's going to really help me as well Like especially downloading games and things it takes quite a while so uh, but it's more for me because we're streaming. It's the upload. Uh, we got Todd in the house. Uh, good evening, all. Hi, Todd. Hi, Todd. Hi, Todd. Nice to see you. How are you, buddy? And D. Harris says, "Evening, Todd." Okay, so the question was: other than wood, name a material that might be used when building a house. So, bricks. Brick has gone, cement has gone, and metal has gone. I'll we'll give it another couple of minutes and then. Yeah. <laughs> Todd says snow I igloo in brackets. That's a really good out, out of the box answer to that, but unfortunately it's not correct. Yeah. But I like that. Uh, D. Harris says uh, Todd, everyone over the crafters and Chris channel. I'm just watching the chat. Okay, okay, so 
Julie, what do you think? Glass. Yay, that's 20 points. Well done. Cool. And Chris, any ideas? Plasterboard. Plasterboard, no. There's one, two, three, four, with four left. Tom says he's on the crafters now. Oh, there we go. Okay, so the remaining answers was name and material that might be used when building a house. We've got nails. We have plastic. We have insulation and vinyl. Okay, how is you feeling? Um, we've done four rounds. Do you want to end now, or would you like to do one more and make it five? I'm not bothered either way. Depends how, how we are feeling. Do another one if you want. Yeah, okay, let's round up to five and then... This one's quite a good one. Okay, so last one then of the evening. <laughs> Marvel Pigs, who built a house out of vinyl? Yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, oh, Todd says, uh, said no wood, but I still think tree house. <laughs> How about blankets? Sofa fort. Yeah, yeah, we used to do that as a kid. Uh, Steve131 says, evening all. Hi, Steve. Hi, Steve. Uh, D. Harris says, evening at Steve. Okay, so last question is, name something you would never leave home without. Name something you would never leave home without.
Mm -hmm. Okay, so. So Steve says HOHD Harris. What's HOH mean? How are you doing? Um, okay, so oh, Todd says wallet. Yep, congratulations. That is, you're here somewhere. There we go. 10 points. Um, so now you are, now you've got a correct answer. Uh, you're eliminated from this round. Dave Matt Build says keys. That is correct. That's worth five points. Uh, D. Harris says, also says keys. DS Mons and Vintage says phone. And that is top answer. Well done. That is 46 points. Oh, this could be close. Okay. Uh, Dee says... Money bank cards so the wife don't get it. Laugh well, out loud. Uh, yeah, that is actually an answer. Money D, uh, that is two points. <laughs> uh, Todd says here in Arizona, we would say sunglasses. Yeah. yeah. Todd says, as we get older, a good idea of where we are going in the first place is a valid answer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Mark Swan says, in my world, now the wife. Okay, so uh, Steve says better than yesterday at D. Thanks. That's good. So, Julie, what do you think? Any answers? Um, I can't really think of anything different. Just this, yeah, thinking the same as everybody else, really. Okay, Chris, anything? I don't know past me now, but I would say cigarettes. No, that isn't an answer. I'll have to say knickers then. Pardon? I'll have to say knickers then. Knickers. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God, don't. <laughs> oh, Chris. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that's funny. That's the last thing we expected you to come out with. Oh, dear. 
Well, it was the first one I thought about, and I thought, no, I can't. And then I thought, ah, cigarettes. And then when Alex said no, I thought, hmm, all right. <laughs> well, have you ever gone out without your knickers? <laughs> don't don't answer that. <laughs> I could just imagine now. Oh no, Dave! I forgot to put my knickers on. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh. <laughs> okay, so the remaining answers was. Oh, hang on, let me see if there's any more. Oh no, sorry. Yes, yeah, so D says uh, good to hear, mate. And Steve says evening at Young Mark. Um, so the other answers were purse. So we've had wallet. The other one was a purse. Um, the kids. And the car. So. Uh, D. Harris says, Steve, uh, here on Crafters page, probably everywhere knowing him. I'm just watching chat here, mate. Jump channel. Cool. So that is it then. That is five questions done. And let's tot up the winners. So, oh, that was close between two. Hang on, two, three, two, four. It's not that many, so. Six, six participants on this quiz this evening. So I'm going to read them all. In sixth place, blah, 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 sixth place was Todd. Yeah. Uh, fifth place was Crafty Chris. Yeah. Fourth place was Yorkshire Crafter Julie. Hey. <laughs> I didn't think I'd play so I really didn't. <laughs> yeah, no, there's always a place, always a place. So third place we have Dave Matt Builds. <gasps> cool. Second place was D Harris. <gasps> yeah. Oh. Which means DS Models and Vintage came first. <gasps> Yay! Congratulations. And I think what did it for you was that good answer that you had the top answer, which was worth 46 points on one of them. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's good, this, because it's uh, varied. I think we've had uh, different winners each time. Yeah. So, yeah, it's great. So, yeah, well done. Yeah, Brinton, yes, when, well, when you watch Family Fortunes, the answers are so easy. But when you've got to think about them, it's a different thing. Yeah, yeah. True. Yeah. So. Right, so shall we go around uh, all our progress and then we'll go cameras up. So, uh, Horlix, I'll come to you. Yeah, so I haven't done loads, but I've just been playing around with some, uh, some colour in there. So, yeah, that's all I've done. I'll cool. be doing some more next time. I've actually really enjoyed doing it, picking this up and something different. I've not done for a while, so yeah. Excellent. Right, Chris, I'll come to you next. <clears throat> yeah, I've got from there done. Oh wow. Yeah. Cool. Right. So, um, I've nearly finished this section here that I started, but I've missed 
some colours out. So what I've done is I've opened the next section because then if I'm, as I'm pulling the colours out to do this one, I can fill in any that I've missed there because it just it sometimes happens you just miss you don't see a symbol and so but yeah a little bit of progress tonight it's nice as that yeah. thank you yeah i'm enjoying working on its rounds as well so it's going quite quickly so right oh change camera and then I'll get some chat. There we go. Right. Where did did you start it, Harlex? Where you left off? Oh, sorry. Uh, I no, didn't. no, you're all right. Um, it is a little bit further up. There you go. We were there. So after that. After that one. Okay. No worries. Uh, Dave Mark, no spam bots tonight, thank goodness. Did we? Have, yeah, we did at one point. We yeah. have one, yeah, we have one. But I think Mark, Mark, I think Mark dealt with that. He was on it so quick, maybe he didn't notice it. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> uh, D says, uh, good quiz, Alex. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, D says, fair play, Sir Dave. Yeah, well done, Dave. Uh, DS Models and Vintage. Hooray. GBG. Great. Oh, hooray. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Hooray. <laughs> uh, Dave, Matt, great show and quiz tonight, guys. Well done. Your projects are looking excellent. Thank you, Dave. Thanks, Dave. Um, we've got Steve saying, at Marvel, see, you're from Arizona. Ever been to Andy's HHQ? So, yeah, he's asking uh, Todd a question. Uh, Mary says, great show. Enjoyed watching. Well done, Chris, Julie, and Alex. Thank you, Mary. Thank you. Thank you, Mary. And um, we've got D, another excellent show of the night. Until next Thursday, I'll say good night and see you all tomorrow night. Night, D. Night, D. Night, D. And Toss says, Steve131, I have not, but it's not too far from me. Okay. And D, and a good night to all in chat land. Matt says, Crafty Chris Channel was the only one tonight. So that's where they think, right. Oh. Uh, Dave Mark saying, well done, Sir Dave. And that is chat. Okay. For now. Um, oh. Do you want me to go through the schedule quickly? Please. So tomorrow, I'm not live tomorrow. Uh, Sounds really bad, but I'm actually going out and I completely forgot about it. It was the last, well, not last minute. It was, I went out for the family get together the other Friday, which is, which was the missing third Friday while I wasn't here. Do you remember I couldn't work out? I'd missed three weeks. It's because yeah. I had the, um, like the reunion at work. Um, bless her, Lorraine couldn't make it because she had COVID. So she, she couldn't obviously come out. Then when we had the meal, we decided to do the 18th and I completely forgot about it until the other day. So I'm out tomorrow, but tomorrow we have um, Dano's Universe. So we'll be graced with his presence at 7 p.m. He's going to take my slot and he's going to be doing the, um, the Eddie Stobart lorry. And I believe he's going to do bumper issues. He's going to do, as far as I'm aware, maybe wrong, he's doing about five issues tomorrow. So... Yeah, so. the night with Dano tomorrow. So that'll be mm -hmm. something for me to uh, catch up on when I get back or Saturday morning. Um, which then leaves me to do a show. I'm going to do mine on the Saturday evening instead. So 7 o'clock, I'll be doing the VW Camper. Uh, so you haven't got too long to wait. Uh, Sunday will be DS Models and Vintage doing the uh, his Rootmaster, one of them. Um 
And then that takes us to Monday with Crafty Chris and Yorkshire Crafter doing the Disney Dolls House. Yeah. And then that takes us around to Tuesday where Chris will be doing her Eddie Stobart at Laurie. And then after that, as far as I can see, uh, Jordy Dave and Dana will be doing the Titanic. And that's as far as I'll go up to for now. So, yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, so, I have updated the schedule. So, if you are looking at the schedule, you'll see all the changes. So, yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. So, I'd like to say thank you to Horlitz tonight for doing that quiz for us. Really enjoyed that. No, you're welcome. Yeah, it's good fun. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I'll uh, I'll say my goodbyes because then I can get the uh, ending all prepared and everything like that. So thank you for joining us tonight, and thank you for all your lovely comments for our uh, projects and joining the quiz. And so yeah, thank you for all your uh, support tonight. So I will say good night from me, and uh, I will see you. After the weekend, I think. Yeah, Monday. Monday. I'll see you guys on Monday. So, yeah, night from me. Okay. Yeah, thanks, so. guys, for joining us again tonight. Um, it's been another good show. Stay safe over the weekend. Have a brilliant weekend. Um, I'll catch you next week. So, it's bad from me. <laughs> I guess that leaves me to end the show. So, that is a good night from me. Thank you, everyone, for watching. And I hope I'm glad you enjoyed the quiz. And, uh, yeah, I will next see you Saturday evening uh, for the VW Campus. So, um, yeah, it's a good night for me. Yeah. So, right. Night, everyone. Night.